Okay, the next game of my top 7 picks of E3 2016 is a game called Steep. Do you guys remember a game many moons ago? 15, 16, 17? Maybe 20? I can't remember. A good few many years ago called Ski Free. It was a, you know, old, old game. You ski down a mountain and you try and avoid the stuff, pick them stuff. And if you crash too many times, the Yeti behind you copy up and blah, blah, blah. That's what it reminded me of when I saw the guy in the Yeti. My skills seen a Steep game. But anyway, Steep. A game that reminded me of SSX Snowboarding, which I just started to play since it was part of the PlayStation Plus gameplay a few months ago. So, Steep Ubisoft released this year, December 2016. I can't quite remember the exact month. No, exact month, exact day in December, but in December. Enjoy! I'll probably pick this up with VR as well, possibly. <laughs> it looks really good. Anyway, enjoy! Welcome to the world of Steep, a massive open world, partially set in the Alps, at the intersection of Italy, Austria, Switzerland, and France. We're currently flying over Aiguille de Mont Blanc, and in case you're wondering, Aiguille means needles. First thing we'll do is land on the small rock over there. Notice the man on the right walking up to the summit? That's another player from the community. From here, we can now enjoy the view and observe the world around us. That big guy in front of you is Mont Blanc, the biggest summit in the region. In the distance, you can see the Matterhorn, one of the wildest spots in the game. And on the right, you've got the Aravi Range, the range we come from, where Ubisoft Annecy stands. In Steep, we developed a really cool observation tool. We call it Mountain View. Mountain View allows you to zoom out from your position, observe the world, and navigate into the environment. Our mountain range will be populated by drop zones. Drop zones are entry points for you to drop into the world when you're ready. Now let's go back to our initial position. Besides drop zones, the game will offer a wide range of challenges for you to test your skills. The one in front of us is a wingsuit activity. And as the other player drops in, we'll follow him and trigger the challenge. This is a proximity flying race challenge. secured the silver medal, and as we land, we could choose to move on to skiing in the Aiguille. But we'd like to introduce you to another region. So let's switch to Mountain View and head over to Aravi. The purpose of this next sequence is to show you what it's like to play online with other players, such as your friends or community members. As you ride, you'll keep meeting other players who are also having fun in the mountain. 
Let's switch our point of view to follow those riders. As you probably noticed, the game will support GoPro views. We really need to pause here. Too much has happened at the same time. Now, I'd like to show you something special. If we go back to Mountain View, take a look at that trail. Every line you do in the world creates a trail, and that trail is really cool. It not only allows you to check what you've done on your ride so you can analyze your line, but it also allows you to launch a replay of what you've seen and what you've done. You can rewind, pause, control the camera, go slow-mo. Follow any players you've met. And the idea here is to allow you to push that replay of your performances. Or, or just crashes to all social networks so you can share it with the world. Even better, not only can you share your videos, but say you like that jump over the cliff. You know it's a tricky one. You can push it as a challenge to your friends. You define the rules. Share it so it becomes part of the content your friends will see in their game. But let's catch up with our red paraglider. There's one last thing I'd love to show you. Steep is definitely about sharing intense, thrilling, crazy, or just pure fun moments with your friends in the community. Here's another example. Uh, 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 uh.